I'm just gonna run in really quick and see what it needs. Oh, nothing! Hurry? Oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do some exploration and go look for some hard drives and just kind of check out the area. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think before we do that, though, uh, we'll go ahead and do the uh, Mark th or Tier 3 Enhanced Asset Security Milestone uh, so that we can get the, the better melee weapon. And so I've got all the reinforced... For that, uh, we're going to need to get some more rods and wire, which we have plenty of. So we'll grab some more of those. And then some copper wire. I'm going to actually change all of those foundations to two meter foundations. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to need 15 of those. Let's grab that many. Milestone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. In the words of the engineer that first developed this tool, quote, the Zapper kind of electrocutes things, the Basher straight up smacks stuff while also electrocuting <laughs> them, unquote. Nice. It is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, uh, so to make the uh, Xeno Basher, we are going to need uh, two zappers and five modular frames. Let's make the second zapper right now. And I'm, I don't remember if we have to take that out of our hand slot, but we will anyways. I think we maybe do. And then we need five frames. All right, let's make ourselves a Xeno Basher. Oh, I'm missing just a little bit of wire. Here we go. And we get an extra hand slot, too. Nice. Okay, yeah, so that'll that'll help us on our adventures here. We'll put that away. And uh, we've got just a little over a stack of rebar ammunition. I want to make sure we have plenty of... Well, actually, yeah, we'll, we should only need one stack of concrete if we need to make ramps. So we should be fine with that. We don't need to bring rotors or quick wire. Probably don't need cable um, or normal wire or pipes. We'll take the chainsaw in case we have to cut something down. I don't think we will. Shouldn't need screws. Uh, we are going to need steel. Oh, you know what I'm not thinking about, though? When we find hard drives, it's, uh, it's going to need us you know, materials for us to open it. So we really should probably be taking some of this with us. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's uh, put that back in our inventory. We got those circuit boards from Doggo, so we'll take those. Uh, I don't want to completely load our inventory up though either because, you know, then we won't have room for other things. Uh, but let's make a few more modular frames. We'll make, let's say 10, we'll make 10 of those. And then we'll go get um, uh, steel beams because the one hard drive that we do know of uh, that's just out in the desert a little ways from here, 
required steel beams. I don't remember how many it was asking for, so we'll just take a full stack of steel beams with us. We'll grab them on the way out of town here. Uh, 13, okay, that's good enough. All right, let's do this. So our goal here is to, you know, just explore, kind of check out the world a little bit, and but specifically, uh, we want to go after hard drives for alternate recipes. There are um, a few alternate recipes I would really like to have before we start building the factory. Uh, one of them being the rotor recipe that uses copper sheets. I really like that one. Um, and yeah, we'll grab a full stack of, of beams here. And there's a few more too. You know, there's some that are better for making ingots and stuff like that. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But this is uh, our first destination. Uh, I don't remember if we already... What's up there? That looks like a sloop, probably. Okay. I don't remember if we already got the loot from here. I think we did. So I think we just need to do the drive itself. Coming around this way. You need 20 steel beams, okay. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> I thought that she already told us that. I hope she doesn't tell us that every time we find a hard drive. I'd get a little old. All right, now, uh, I know there's going to be one down over this way, and there's a few more out, you know, more to the south, too. But let's go to the next one that's over here. And, of course, we're also looking for slugs, too, and whatever else we can find. Uh, there is a there's a, a interesting little almost like a cenote uh, over here. Let's use our zapper on our basher on this guy just to save our ammo. Uh oh. Can I not get that hog part? It thinks I want to access the water. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, I guess we won't be getting that. Uh, yeah, so there's there's kind of a, a cool little hidden area down here. We'll grab those pale berries. And it has a slug, nice. Let's grab that. And can we harvest any of this, like, for... We need to get some mycelia. What if we uh, chainsaw this thing? Will we get some stuff from that? Yeah, we got mycelia. Nice. The fruit of this fungus-like flora does not seem to show much potential for use. However, its mycelial network is worth further investigation. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Alright, so it looks like there's a passageway that goes through there, but of course we can't do anything with that until we get... Um... Explosives, so... I think uh, somewhere here, there's supposed to be some vines that we can use to climb out. You know what, though? I'm not seeing them. Are they...
Hmm. Okay, maybe we need to go up this way. Yeah, we have to go up this way. Oh, shit. Let's try that again. I mean, if nothing else, we can make, you know, ramps to get out. So we're not, it's not like we're permanently stuck here. There used to be a much more distinct set of vines coming down in here that you could climb out from, though. And I'm not seeing them, so what we're going to do instead is... Put some ramps down. Maybe they removed those vines. I don't know. Let's jump over to here. If you came down here without the ramps and you had no explosives, you'd be hosed. Yeah, they changed that. There used to be like a, a, a little vine ladder that went all the way down. So, interesting. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, somewhere over here, there's going to be a drive. Uh, not down that way, though. Woo, that's a long ways down. We need to go travel this way. Um, let's just avoid that hog if we can. I want to conserve my ammo. I've got a decent amount, but I don't have what I would call an abundance of ammunition. We've got a sloop, it looks like, over here. And a bunch of big bads. I wonder if he's not charging us because the little guys are in the way. Bet you that's what's going on there. Yeah, because he's trying to charge us. Well, that works in our favor. These guys take a lot of shots to kill, though. Okay, we got him. And we have three little ones. There's a third one way over there. Alright, let's grab the sloop. Follow the veins to the altar and chant. Yeah, we've heard that one before. I think it says, follow the veins to the altar and chant. First time I heard that, I thought he said chat. But I think it's chant. Okay, let's continue going this direction. Oh, uh, we don't need coal. We got... Two medium size and one little guy there. Uh, we don't really need to grab the quartz either. dead. Shoot him in the ass. there was another small one, wasn't there? Or maybe not. Okay. Grab this yellow slug. I 
There is a... Oh, you know what? We might not be able to get to that drive because of the fart rocks. Forgot about that. Well, let's go up there anyway. I don't, we don't need sulfur. And we'll just... We'll check it out and see what, what the situation is. So the game actually refers to these things as flying crabs. Which is interesting. Alright. See a purple slug over there. I'm sure it's well guarded. Uh, but let's go up here first and just kind of see what uh, the deal is. Ma'am, research is complete. Alternate steel rod. So that uses steel, but gives us 48 per minute. And Caterium wire is amazing. Absolutely amazing. 120 wire per minute from one Caterium ingot. We're taking that. Absolutely taking that. So, yeah, let's do it. I don't even have to think about it. Excellent. Um, here, while we're here, let's do the mycelia research. Uh, no, not add to-do list. What the hell? Clear list. The mycelial networks of these fungi possess unusually resilient hyphae, which show potential for making a strong but lightweight natural fabric. Additionally, it has similar medicinal and pest control applications to mycelia on Earth. All right. Uh, so we definitely want to get fabric because after that, then we can unlock the parachute. Uh, so we'll be working towards that, and therefore we need to get more mycelia. Very good. Okay. I believe that's where we need to get to up on that plateau. All right, we got a blue slug and a couple of little hogs. A couple, three little hogs. Very good. Just going to take a quick look-see out here. That's just a little rock thingy. Thing looks so amazing up in the sky. There's a nitrogen, big nitrogen uh, thingy. 
Doesn't tell us what its purity is, though. Oh, it's pure. All right, let's um, let's mark this for future reference. So for resources, we will use the uh, this stamp here. And we're going to call this pure nitrogen. And we will make use of that in the future. What is this? I think... Oh, that's just part of the node. Okay. Let's go up here. All right, well, let's ninja the stuff. 43 modular frames, that's nice. 49 staters. We have some engines, some encased, oh shit, encased industrial. question is, can we run in and grab those and get back out without killing ourselves? So each tick takes a full health bar down. Um, let's grab... The, oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's risky. Yeah, I think we're going to have to come back for this. Wouldn't mind grabbing those motors, though. But we're going to, you know, we, we can actually make motors now. It's not worth dying, because, you know, when we die with my game settings, we lose all of our shit. And uh, I don't want to have to come all the way back here with nothing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mark this. And we're going to call this um, HD... fart rocks so I know that we got to remove the fart rocks I don't know what it requires but I don't think we can safely get in there to look at that and we'll just use the storage crate to mark I wish we had a hard drive marker okay um Why don't we... Considering that this is a relatively pain in the ass to get to place, it won't be so much once we get the jetpack, but that's a, way, a ways away for us. I'm just going to run in really quick and see what it needs. Oh, nothing! Shit, hurry! Oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> okay. That was close. Very good. All right. Well, that was uh, worth the risk, I think. Get that scanning. And then what we'll do is we'll change this icon to a check mark, indicating that we've... We got it. Maybe we'll even say HD done or whatever. Yay us! Should we heal all the way back up and try and ninja those motors? I think we will. There's some encased industrial beams there too, but I don't know about that. But we could we could probably grab those motors and get out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. 
How many did we get? 18, okay. It's kind of interesting that the game um, gives you a warning, you know, by turning the screen yellow before you actually start taking damage. Here we go. We got 35 in case beams. All right. I don't see anything else over here in terms of loot. So I think we got it all. Yay us. Okay, let's head on back down. Um, there's a blue slug up there, but let's see if we can get this purple slug because if we can get that, then we can do the research and finish the slug research. We've got to kind of assess though how well guarded it is. It's right there. Okay, let's go back over this way and get our other ramps. Also a Mercer spear there. One medium hog, two little hogs. Okay, he's down. We're bringing the pain, man. Bringing the pain. Let's see if it says anything. Gonna talk? Guess not. Our blood could fill the effigy veins for a resonant song. Scripture becomes harmony, becomes composition. Defile our temple and the threads will sew the windows open. Pattern analysis continuing. New instruction. Repeat pioneer exposure to alien artifacts. Brain damage compensation packages may be available <laughs> on successful completion of a special claims form. Okay. Our expert fix-it medical staff are impartial and always open to assess your claim. <laughs> Brain damage. Okay, so now they're interested in what's going on inside our head with all this stuff. How funny. All right, there's a couple of big plasma spitters guarding that purple slug. So I think what we'll do is we'll go over here. Nope, didn't quite make it. We got them both? How did that happen? Did we do like a, you know, 
go through, penetrate one and go through the other kind of thing? I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. We got the job done. And our first purple power slug. Woohoo! I don't think, um... I think we're going to have to research that back at the base because I think it's going to need more stuff than just the slug itself. Uh, plus, we still have a hard drive going, too. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. Yeah, let's let's start heading back this way. Is that coal? Yeah. This is... What's that? Bauxite? Yeah, we don't want that right now. There's some sulfur over there. I think this is the... Oh, shit. I think this is where that pure... Uh, sulfur node is. Alright, let's get up on this shelf and we'll take out that uh, hatcher. guy flanked me. Asshole. We fell off the cliff. Alright, we have one more here. And another yellow slug. Beautiful. Yeah, that's that pure sulfur node down there. Let's not kill that guy. Oh, look, another purple. We won't kill that guy right now. Oh, no, that's a Mercer Sphere. Okay. Let's see if it says anything. This is a shrine to windows and weaving. I think it said this is a shrine to windows in weeping. That's it? No more mind control stuff? Okay. Let's go in that cave there. I don't remember what's in that cave. Locked. Okay, yeah. I guess we won't be going any further into there until we get Nautilus. Let's see what we have. Okay, that's a pretty good copper alloy recipe iron wire I mean it's useful but only really if you have a shortage of copper which we don't um I think I think I like this one better a hundred copper ingots per minute that's pretty damn good so we're going to go with that one. All right, now, what does it 
take to research a purple power slug? Oh shit, we got everything we need. Look at that. Thanks to getting those modular frames. Let's do it. Synthetic power shards, research nice. Completed. Purple power slugs seem to be near the end of their life cycle and have a significant amount of potential energy stored. It is a good thing fix it does not waste. Purple power slugs can now be processed into power shards. Excellent. Okay. Um, this will allow us to scan for slugs with the scanner, which I haven't even made yet. We can make it. I just haven't. Um, yeah, let's do it. But this one, of course, we'll have to wait on until we get some more of that advanced stuff. Power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. Let's get our health up here. All right. So far, so good. Uh, there's another... Really? You're just sitting there and nobody's guarding you. Okay, I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. Maybe he's he's supposed to be guarding this slug. Huh, weird. So anyway, what I was saying was... There's a couple more caves we can investigate, and I think one of them has a sloop inside. And the other one, I believe, has... Another purple slug, but also a bunch of stingers. Uh, assuming they haven't changed anything from before. I think the cave with the sloop in it is actually back over here by our copper miner. Yeah, it's right here. Any bad bads in here? No, but my goodness, look at all the wood in here for bio. Uh, biomass, that's good. Gonna say anything? Guess not. You know what? I, I'm gonna pick this up, because why the hell not, right? There's a shit ton of wood. I don't remember this wood being in here in early access because I came down into this cave before. Of course, it could have been here and I just could have not been paying attention to it, but. They kind of have weird hit boxes, though. All right, we got some bacon agaric, too. We'll grab those. And what the hell, we'll grab a few leaves while we're at it. Oh, I missed some wood over here. Eighty-six chunks of wood. That doesn't suck. Grab that piece of wood, too. All right, so let's go back here, and I'm going to process this into bio, solid biofuel. And then um, in one of, I, I think somewhere up in that area, there there's a bigger cave that we can go down into and possibly get a purple power slug and fight some spiders. Um, I might make myself a little more ammo, too, because we're down to 54. So I'll get all that stuff taken care of, and then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to go hit that other cave. All right, that's a nice little collection of biomass to make uh, more biofuel. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we'll get those machines filled up. Let's take out our power, too, by the way. Yeah, we're, we're still, our maximum consumption is still under our production from the coal plants. So we're doing fine on power. 
All right, I want to grab a few more. Actually, no, I don't. I think we're going to actually drop some stuff off because we could be killed in uh, this place that we're going to go. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to take the chainsaw though in case we have an opportunity to get some mycelia. Put all this away here. My storage is kind of mess messy right at the moment. Uh, we do need to make sure that we have stuff to make ramps, though. And we want to keep some solid biofuel with us. Oh, right. I was going to make uh, some more ammunition, too. Doug the Doggo brought us one rifle ammo. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's funny. Uh, let's see. We need iron plates to make ramps, and we need concrete. I think that's all we need, right? Yeah, plates of concrete. So we got to make sure we have enough of that. And then I want uh, rods to make some more ammunition. You're still... Oh. All right, why are you shut down? Oh, right. I didn't mean to... To shut the rods down, just the just the screws. I shut them both down, though. All right, so let's redo this. Shoot, that's a bummer. Um, also, let's put all of these in here. Okay, I'm going to make uh, another stack's worth of rebar uh, ammunition. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can get into this cave up here. Um, can we bounce up that way? No. One thing we could do is make ourselves a ladder. Except for I don't have any rods on me. You can hear the spiders skittering around up there. So we have to, I don't think I want to fall down through there. We have to go around through here. Oh, there's a yellow slug. Guarded by two little plasma spitters. Uh, let's save our ammo and let's take these guys out with melee. Okay, he did. I have to remember how to get into this cave. Oh, yellow slug up there. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can we make that jump? Nope. <laughs> oh, 
I think this is where we need to go. Oh shit, they got it blocked off. Damn it, Jim. All right, never mind. That isn't going to happen anytime soon. I mean, we should probably actually be working on novelists because they're just so useful to have, you know? Well, let's kill this big plasma splitter so we can get that yellow slug down there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get into that cave because they have blocked it off. I don't believe it was blocked off before. Either that or it was, and I blew it up and just didn't think about it. Got him. Grab these pale berries. That's where we were earlier. So we, we already came through over on that side. All right. Well, um, let's go back and see what we need to get to Noblesks. We've got plenty of sulfur available to us. We have plenty of coal available to us. Yeah, we don't need Katur anymore. Wait a minute. What's going on over here? Did I accidentally cut the power? Damn it. I'm my own worst enemy, man. I swear. I don't have stuff to make a new power line. All right. I have to get that fixed. Sulfur. Okay. We need 50 sulfur and 25 coal for that. I don't know if I have that, but again, we can ease. Oh, yeah, we do have 50 sulfur easily. Okay, let me get uh, let me get this power thing fixed here. Okay, so that brings that back online. I think what we're going to do for coal is we're just going to borrow, well, not borrow, take um, some coal out of these guys. How are we doing on our accumulation of pipes and beams? Oh, look at that. We already have a full row of pipes and a full row of beams. It's a beautiful thing. And... Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just set a miner temporarily down on that sulfur node um, just to accumulate some sulfur for this research. We got the Mark II. Um, do 
Do I want to do that? Or do I just want to get it by hand? Um. Well, here, let's... Let's go ahead and do this next research and we'll see what else it wants. Research completed. Black powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available. I love these explosive rebars. Expanded tool. Ball. Okay, so uh, we're going to need to make 50 black powder. And then, of course, the cable and the steel pipes are not a big deal. Plus, we're going to need to make more black powder to make the novelists themselves. So for the black powder... Um, where is that at? Oh, no, we need to re... Uh, wait a second. What? Hold on. Go back to here. Yeah, we've already researched the black powder. Can we not make that manually? Oh, we need to make it in the equipment workshop. Right, okay. I was just looking in the wrong place. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to go mine that, uh, some sulfur by hand. It, it won't be that big of a deal. In fact, we could even take and put a couple of portable miners on it. That's, that's actually what we need to do. Do I have any extra portable miners? No. Let's just throw, say, like four of these on there. Because why the hell not? That'll be enough for us to do our research and make... A decent amount of black powder in order to make a decent amount of novelisks. That is the theory, anyways. He was all ready with another charge there. Uh, where is his giblets? Right here. Okay. I'm going to mine, um enough to bring back to make the uh, uh, you know finish the research all right <laughs> I went AFK while I was mining that sulfur and got attacked by a stinger and was just about dead when I got back so not smart on my part let's uh Put these back here and get some health back in case there are more of them around. Probably aren't or I would be dead by now. I hear another one. Where is he? Oh, he's stuck in the sulfur. Uh, that means we're probably not going to be able to get his giblets. Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. Let's grab all the sulfur, and we're going to turn it into black powder. And then, of course, we can come back and get more later if need be. One thing we can do with Nautilus is get rid of those assholes. Hate those plants. All right, let's make a shite ton of black powder. All right, guys, we are ready to do this next research for noblists. Huzzah! All right, we're not going to be able to do this Detonator stuff until, until we get into plastic. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic noblisk. 
It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nobelisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the nobelisks, remember Fixit does not take responsibility for any harm caused due to human error, even <laughs> if those errors are genetic. <laughs> of course you don't. Okay, we need to make an object scanner. Actually, we, let's make a couple of these because um, uh, we, we just need a, a, an object scanner for itself. So that means we need eight reinforced 40 wire and 100 screws. All right, we'll make two object scanners. And then we will make a one Nobelisk detonator. And then let's make a shit ton of Nobelists. And by a shit ton, I mean 50 and one. <laughs> okay, good. So we will store the rest of this black powder for future Nobelisk and other explosive manufacturing. And um, let's store the object scanner for now. And we're going to go back into that cave. So once again, we really only want to take with us stuff that we need to make uh, foundations. And chainsaw and solid bio fuel in case we can find some mycelia in there. And of course, our ammunition. And let's put this in here. Fantastic. Okay, we can blow shit up now. I am a happy camper because I like to blow shit up. We're going to start by removing these asshole plants here. Sayonara, sucker. Used to not be able to do this. Used to not be any way to get rid of these guys. But they fixed that in update 7, maybe? Update 8? I don't know. I didn't actually play um, 6 and 7. I played 5 um, for a little way, little time. Got about up to oil, and then I, I had to... I stopped playing update 5 due to real-life reasons. And never got back into 6 or 7, and then when 8 came out... Uh, then I did a full a full series uh, on eight. I started playing this game in, in update four, um, but you know never took it all the way to the end until eight. In fact, I didn't even technically make it all the way to the end on eight. We got really close, but we just ran out of time because one zero came out. So, any hoozle. All right, let's get back over here. need to actually get up there to get to the cave entrance. Okay, here we go. Now, if this is the cave that I remember it to be, I'm expecting some spiders in here. Oh, look at that. Our first sand deposit and spiders. Of course. Come here, buddy. He's stuck inside the Sam. Okay, this is not the cave I th thought it Look at that. Q 
can't quite make out what it's saying. Oh, we got more bad bads. Where are they? Oh, shit. I don't even know where he came from. Okay, is there another... Maybe through there? Okay, let's grab some of this. The strange alien matter, colloquially known as SAM, seems to be in its dormant crystalline state, meaning it won't break down your body into its base atomic components <laughs> untouched. That's probably a good thing. This living matter is extremely versatile and has countless applications. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application, as well as a secure method of awakening. Okay. Let's just grab, say, a hundred of these uh, for research purposes. But they either changed this cave or it's not the cave I thought it was. Because the cave I was, I thought it was, kind of was a fairly large cave. It went way down in. And there were some large spiders and a purple slug. But, it, again, that could either be in a different location or maybe maybe they changed it. I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And like I said, I'm just going to grab a bunch of this, take it back. And then uh, in the next episode, we will, we you know, we might do, we might do another ex exploration episode in the next one. Only because I want to get some more our uh, recipe uh, alternate recipes before we start building their factory because that will change potentially change how we build it in terms of what machines to use you know like for example finding that uh, that copper ingot recipe that gives us like a hundred ingots per minute and the one you know that does the wire uh, are th that's huge and that'll change w what, what machines we use in our iron factory and how we set it up and so forth so I'd like to get a few more uh, of those before we start building um, so we kind of know what we have to work with. So that's the tentative plan. We will do another exploration episode in the next one. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.